I know you may have heard or watched lots of videos about lucid dreaming and you may have read lots of articles explaining how to do it but in this video I'm going to explain how you can lucid dream tonight or at the very least within the next week and this is the latest techniques, the latest advice. I'm going to start by explaining the basics about how to do it and the fundamentals and then I'm going to go into the advanced stuff, the biohacking, the sleep optimization, the the uh, management of the blue light that goes into your eyes and, and that affects your hormones. So we're going to get into all that exciting stuff, but first let's just take it slow and start with what lucid dreaming is. Lucid dreaming is the ability to become self-aware in your dreams, meaning that you can control them. So it's sort of like how you're sitting in your room or wherever you're sitting now, you know that you're awake, you can look around, you can decide to move your arm you know, out in front of you, you can decide to pick up your phone for example, but you know that you're here and you're aware. It's the same thing in a lucid dream, it feels very real. It feels like you're in the real world, except you know that it's not real. You know that it's a dream and so in that way you can control it, you can do essentially whatever you would like. It's very exciting, okay? And there's a lot of things you can do in a lucid dream that you can't do in waking life. So that's that's what lucid dreaming is. The basics in, in terms of how you actually get there, how you actually lucid dream. And don't, don't click away from this video just yet, guys. I really wanna share some valuable tips here that will help you to lucid dream that you probably haven't seen in other videos. The first one, you gotta meditate, okay? But not just meditation that you've probably heard about. You, you've gotta meditate consistently because it's the consistency that's gonna build up the self-awareness. It doesn't matter if you meditate for one hour a week, if you're doing it only on one day, you need to meditate every single day you know, seven days a week, even if it's only for a few minutes at a time. And the meditation can be something as simple as just counting your breaths, you know, being aware of yourself, uh, focusing on a mantra, a mantra or an affirmation, something like that. Number two, you need to write your dreams down every single morning. There's no exception to this. You need to really write your dreams down in a journal. It can be a notepad or it can be like a document on your computer. You need to write something down, right? And this is gonna help you train, train your subconscious mind to help you remember your dreams. Now I know at this point it sounds like you've heard this stuff before. I promise you I'll get to the stuff you haven't heard very soon. Number three, you need to try different techniques. Now there's a huge number of techniques out there. I actually invented one myself called the 90 Isled, the 90 Induced Lucid Dream, which uh, you can find on my channel, or you can just search for it. The point here is you need to try many different techniques. Don't just focus on one. And don't just, don't just try like three or four of the main ones and then give up. There are so many variants of these techniques, so many different ways of doing things and combining them. You really need to focus, you, know, you need to try multiple techniques. That's the best way, that's how you're gonna to get to having loose dreams is by experimentation. Number four, you need to have awareness throughout the day. And this comes from experience and practice, but it also can come from meditation. You need to be aware of what you're doing. You need to be conscious all the time, if you can, you know, at least as often as you can when you're doing things. You need to avoid those periods of time where you're in what's called autopilot, where you're sort of not really aware of what you're doing. Most of us experience autopilot when we're commuting to work, for example, you just forget about the train journey or the car journey, and the next thing you know you're at work. Try and be aware specifically in those times, you know, when you're you know you're in autopilot usually. Try and be aware, more aware during those times. Next, you need to be reading about lucid dreaming, inspiring yourself, watching films related to lucid dreaming. Uh, I have a list on my website of the top 20 lucid dreaming films, but beyond that, just read inspiring articles and stories, read, watch the videos on my channel, read articles from my site and other sites, and uh, just try and inspire yourself. Inspire yourself with the idea of lucid dreaming and what you can do in it. And lastly, you need to just perform affirmations and mantras. This is things like where you tell, tell yourself the thing that you would like to be true about yourself. So in this case, you would tell yourself things like, I will lucid dream, I can lucid dream, I can control my dreams, I find it easy to do this. Repeat these things to yourself over and over again throughout the day, uh, and especially in the morning, first thing in the morning and last thing at night. This is the most important times to do this because you're in uh, what's known as theta, the theta brainwave state, which is where you're highly suggestive. Your, your subconscious mind absorbs ideas and information and beliefs better during this time than at any other time. So you really need to instill those beliefs during the first 10 minutes of the day and the last 10 minutes of the day. Now we're getting onto the advanced stuff, the advanced hacks and tips for lucid dreaming. Firstly, you need to optimize your sleep and you need to get in line with your circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your natural cycle of sleeping and being awake. It's, it, you, it's supposed to be in line with the sun. When the sun rises, you feel awake and you're alert. When the sun sets, your, your uh, body feels tired and you go to sleep. Here's how it works. When the sun rises, 
The photons from the sun's light enter your eyes, re your, the retinas of your eyes, and cause your body to produce serotonin. This can happen either through the light going into your retinas or from the light hitting your skin. When your body produces serotonin, you feel more alert and awake, and it makes you feel like you're ready to start the day and, and have energy, for example. When that light, those blue light uh, photons, enter your system, it stops your body producing melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone which basically helps you sleep, keeps you sedated, helps you enter deep sleep and relaxes you. It's literally prescribed as a sleep supplement because it's so effective. So what happens is, or what should happen I should say, is when the sun rises, your body stops producing melatonin, starts producing serotonin, you feel alert and you feel awake, and you go about your day with much energy. And then what's supposed to happen is when the sun goes down in the evening, when the sun sets, the darkness, the, or the absence of light, whichever way you want to look at it, causes your body to start producing melatonin, which feel, makes you feel sleepy and ready to sleep and, you know, tired or whatever. And you stop producing serotonin, meaning you start experiencing a gradual reduction of energy as it gets darker. This is incredibly important for your circadian rhythm. And in the natural world, at least for most animals and for, it used to be for us humans before we developed artificial light, it was very effective in getting us to sleep when the sun went down and wake up when the sun rose. However, what's happened is uh, over time, artificial lights, TVs, phone screens, these things produce artificial blue light. That blue light enters your retina, okay, and has the same effect on you roughly that the sun would have. So if you look at your phone screen just before bed, it's the equivalent of being outside in broad daylight. Now, of course, it's very hard to sleep when, it's, when you're in broad daylight, right? And that's the idea behind this. So you need to protect your eyes from blue light during the evenings to simulate a sunset. Now, obviously, it's hard to not use screens and lights and stuff in the evening. We, you know, it's convenient, isn't it? But try and do things like use a, a computer program called Flux. Most computers actually now, the modern ones at least, block the blue light in the evenings if you turn on night mode. Turn on night mode on your phone and importantly wear blue light blocking glasses. I have a pair of these, there'll be a link in the description. Basically you just, I put them on between the hours of 8pm, which is roughly when the sun sets, and whenever I go to sleep. I don't take them off. Three seconds of blue light exposure in the evening is enough to stop your melatonin production for three hours. So don't risk it, okay? As soon as the sun sets, that is your body's time to start producing melatonin so that you can get ready to fall asleep and have deep sleep. You need to protect that hormone. And I know it sounds crazy, you probably get some weird looks from your partner or whatever uh, if you wear these, these crazy glasses, but to be honest, they don't look much different from normal glasses. And when you consider the sleep benefits that you're gonna get, it's well worth it. So there'll be a link in the description, very, very cheap hack and way of improving your sleep. All right, so the next one is supplements. We know that we need certain nutrients and vitamins to function at our best. However, most of us don't get those vitamins and nutrients. So a really easy, cheap way of doing this is just to take a good multivitamin. This will, across the board, improve your health and your, your mind and how you feel. But importantly, it's gonna form that foundation of vitamins uh, for when you, if you decide to start taking other supplements, lucid dreaming aids, nootropics, that sort of thing. So get a good multivitamin. Next up, we have binaural beats or brainwave entrainment. You've probably heard of this before, but you probably don't really know how it works. Brainwave beats are a special type of sound wave. You listen to them as you're falling asleep or as you're trying to do whatever you're trying to do, and they guide your brainwave frequencies into different brainwave frequencies. Most of us during the day operate during the uh, in the beta brainwave frequency, right? Which is when we're alert, we're sort of aware. Uh, however, when you lucid dream, you want to be in the theta stage, or sometimes the alpha stage, depending on what you're um, what you're trying to achieve. But whatever your goal is, you need to. Consider using binaural beats. These are a very effective way of deciding which brainwave state you want to be in. And there are actually special binaural beats specifically for lucid dreaming and astral projection. So go and check those out. There's a link in the description to the ones I use, which are from a company called Enora. Uh, you can read my review on my website or uh, just click the, click the link in the description. But it's important that as you do that, you listen to them through stereo headphones because they don't work in normal headphones. You need to have stereo headphones very important. Next up we have mind machines. Now this is less for lucid dreaming and more for meditation, but here's how it works. In order to lucid dream naturally, you need to build up your meditation skill, the ability to separate your mind from your awareness, right? So the mental mind chatter that happens in all of our heads, you need to be able to separate from that. Now meditation is a good way of doing that. However, a mind machine 
is uh, a complicated and admittedly fairly expensive piece of equipment which you put onto your head. Okay, it's like a pair of goggles that you wear and a pair of headphones. They link up to the central device, which is like a little big, one of those big iPods, for those of you who remember the big one with the click wheel. And that device then tells the goggles what to do and the, sat the headphones what to play. They synchronize. And so what you get is a synchronization between the visual stimuli, so it's like colored LED lights flashing alternately in different colors uh, in different eyes, and the auditory stimuli, which is like binaural beats, sound waves, ambient sounds, they synchronize together. And what happens is you, you create a very strong frequency following response where your brain waves follow the, the entrainment or the, sim the stimulation that the uh, device is giving them. Very effective. You'll find that if you put this mind machine on, I'm talking specifically about uh, the ones I've tried, for example, the Casina, the Proteus, the Procyon. Links, again, all links are in the description if you want to get these. Or Within a few minutes, within three to four minutes or less, you will feel as if you've just meditated for an hour. Literally, it has such a, a rapid, deep effect on your brain, you will never want to meditate normally again. I mean, I know they're expensive, but if you have the spare money, well worth getting, right? You, you can get the benefits of an hour of meditation in just five minutes. It really is very effective. Now, lastly, if you're, this is basically the, uh, the steps I would take in order to lucid dream. This is the, base, the basics, the advanced stuff, and how it all links together. If you want a guide showing you exactly how to do this step by step, I've created what I consider to be the most effective lucid dreaming course in the world. And the reason for that is that it's not just an ebook. It is an ebook containing detailed information alongside a printable calendar. So you print this thing out, it tells you exactly what to do on each day for 30 days in detail, right? It's not just a basic thing like meditate write your dreams that this is in detail specific techniques for each day that i've refined over the years i've tweaked it and i consider this to be the most effective way of lucid dreaming if you follow the steps i guarantee you will lucid dream within 20 days the reason i have it as a 30-day boot camp is because it's just easier to mentally uh, visualize okay i'm going to do this for a month you know i'm going to commit to doing this for a month however most of you and most of the students that i've had will have had lucid dreams within the first 10 to 20 days most people, in fact, have their first lucid dream roughly within 15 days, uh, because if you follow the steps, it's literally like I'm guiding you personally and telling you exactly what to practice. I go into way more detail than I can possibly go into in any video in this course. And it's actually super, super affordable. It's less than a dollar a day for the month. And you also get five free bonus eBooks worth over $80. You get all sorts of things included for free with this thing, as well as email support from me. So if you really want to just take this to the next level and you want to just you're just sick of waiting and, and trying things without them working. You just want a lucid dream. You just want to start experiencing your fantasies. Go and check it out, guys. Go to howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp or just click the link in the description. That's probably the easiest way, isn't it? And, uh, and on the page, I know you're going to be sceptical. You should be sceptical because there's many courses out there that don't work. There's many articles that teach you things that just aren't effective. You should be sceptical. Go to the page, read the reviews. I've screenshotted people's emails that they send me because one of the most rewarding things about doing what I do uh, which wouldn't be possible without you guys and your support, so thank you very much. Uh, but what, one of the most rewarding things is that I get emails from people saying, thank you so much for this, you've helped me to have my first lucid dream, I've been able to have my third, fourth, fifth lucid dream, and so on. And these emails mean so much to me that I've actually screenshotted the, most of them, and I've put them on the page so that you can read them. So I really think that'll be useful for you guys to see, just to, even if you don't want to get the course, just for you to have a look to see roughly uh, the success that some of the students of the bootcamp are having. I really do think it will help you. Go and check it out. Links of, to everything I've said are in the description. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. I really do read your comments. In fact, if you've got this far, let's do a little game. Let's, uh, let's see who can leave the funniest comment with the most random word from the English language. I would like to hear the most random, obscure, funny word that you can think of from the English language. Try and use it in a sentence. Just casually just slip it in there. So leave a comment. Check out the links. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.